Hello everybody and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. We are jumping in again with Survivors of the Void. Of course, modded once again. We have a few modded survivors now, like the Miner and a few others to unlock here and there. But I'm actually going to play as Bandit with some modded skills, actually. Um, we've got some new skills, such as the Magic Bullet here, which is one of my favourites. Fire a bullet that deals 200% damage and ricochets to one nearby enemy for half damage. And also the Kinetic Refractor instead of his Smoke Bomb, which is going to mean that we're invisible while sprinting and gain a burst of moon speed and increased damage upon leaving invis invisibility. We're also going to use the Desperado and we are using the alternate skin here. We also have some new difficulties. Uh, as you can see, there's like sunny difficulty, there's thunderstorm in there and there's a bunch of other ones. We're going to go with Monsoon as the regular, but we're actually going to modify it and go with Diluvian as the modifier, which is going to add an additional 20% damage uh, difficulty multiplier, reduce our healing, reduce our block chance, completely remove one shot protection enemies can't be stunned enemies regen hp and blood triance disable healing some really hard modifiers makes the game a lot more tough but i've actually been really enjoying playing the game with this increased step up in difficulty it's uh it's entertaining i don't i don't know what it is about it i think i think it's just because risk of rain by default is like a little slow in the early game and just frankly a little easy in the early game even on monsoon obviously late game it gets very very tough but uh in the early game it can still be quite easy but some things you're going to notice from the last episode quite a few more item mods and a few changes to like different elites and things like that as you can see the thunder elite here you can see the magic bullet there reflecting um for some reason one minute i've just noticed we're going to quit some menu real quick for some reason one of our skills isn't working, and I'm not quite sure why. The uh, Kinetic Refractor wasn't working. So let's just move over to Smoke Bomb, just for now, and jump back in. Unfortunately, that's not working. I'm not quite sure why that is. But hopefully Smoke Bomb will work just fine, and we can actually get some good use out of that. But yes, um, you'll notice a bunch of new items. You'll all, all, also, sorry, also notice things like uh, Elites being a little different, stuff like that. I love this character. This character is very interesting. Also, one other thing as well. Definitely take the sprint speed here. One other thing as well that you'll notice is that our Lunar Coins are at zero. Uh, I've got a mod that makes it so that Lunar Coins are no longer a meta currency. They are a pair run currency. So you only get them within the run that you're in. Um, and they reset at the start of every run. Just makes them a little less overpowered because you can't stack them up. Remember, this is going to disable our healing for 8 seconds, so we've got to be careful about this. I'm going to take another Cautious Slug, actually. I think um, having a few Cautious Slugs, just to mean that we can heal outside of combat, I'm loving this Ricochet here. Boom. Loving the Ricochet. But yeah, having uh, some extra healing outside of combat is going to be quite nice. Just so that we can uh, easily get back up to full HP, because our healing is, like I said, 20% lower than normal. And... We've got less uh, health regen because of the monsoon modifier. And yeah, there's going to be more enemies. It's just going to be overall a bit more difficult. Okay, get that guy from behind. Maybe we should have taken the snare though. I'm just going to turn the game down just a tiny little bit here. Um, maybe we should have taken the snare actually. Just because I think maybe with the snare, we could have had some interesting stuff with getting behind enemies. Because of course the bandit gains... Uh, guaranteed criticals when shooting enemy from the rear. Okay, so we can use this to move around a little quicker. There you go. Hello, little fella. You may hear me pause every now and again. As I've said in previous videos, I do currently have COVID, which unfortunately means I have a bit of a snivelly nose and a slight cough. So I try to pause the video whenever I need to do that, just so you guys don't have to hear it. Um, gotcha. Yeah, just so, just so you guys don't have to hear it. Bam, bam, bam. But some may slip in here and there. Okay, so it looks like there's not too much up here. We do have ourselves a scrapper. I don't think a scrapper's all that useful. I believe the Desperado, our uh, ability we just used there, increases in damage the more enemies we kill with it. I'm not sure exactly how that scales. At the minute, it's pretty much one-shotting everything, so it doesn't particularly matter. There we go, we've got some chests down here. We'll grab ourselves this barbed wire. Hurt nearby our enemies is pretty decent. 
Got a bunch of these little uh, caches here to open, little, little barrels. Here, there, and everywhere. And I've got a few more chests to go at, and then it's uh, boss time. Less damage from attack from behind is pretty decent here. But yeah, what we can do is we can do like this, and then bam, to get some extra damage. That also applies the hemorrhage bleed, which is essentially like a additional damage bleed. And I reckon there's another one chest about somewhere. Hey, extra crit damage is going to be nice. Also means our attacks from the front can also crit. Okay, yeah, we've got a void item over there as well, actually. So a bit of a twofer. For your... Boom, I love doing trick shots like that. Also means that thing can crit quite nicely. So here we're going to get... Okay, that's not great, but it's not terrible. And we will take a void item as well. You. This is a, this is actually a new modded uh, one here. I've not seen this one before. Yeah. Let us off reload a little bit here. What does it do? Deal more damage when given time to plot. I'm going to imagine that means the longer I'm stood still, the more damage I deal. But I don't actually know if that's true. <laughs> Oh, wait, there you go. Oh, okay. It's activated now. So maybe it's the more time. Like if I go a long time outside of combat, I deal more damage. It's still activated and now it's gone. Okay. And then, so we, we go one, two, three, four, five, five seconds outside of combat. And that gives us a stack of it. And it just, so it basically... If we're outside of combat, it's not a great item for a void item, but it doesn't corrupt any other items, though. So, that is, of course, a benefit. Which is it's a little bit of a weird design choice, I have to say, because normally they all corrupt the um, void items. So, it's a bit weird that, that one doesn't corrupt anything. But, at the same time, I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, this is going good. There you go. Great damage on him. And we get Monolith. Monolith is a modded item again. And this one's a pretty interesting one. This is a modded item that's going to mean that... Uh, you know what? Let's uh, do that real quick. It's going to mean that when we... Oh my god, I am, I am about to die. I need to get to cover real quick. Let me just hide over here. Oh, there's a chest down here, actually. And we got... Re reflect melee range... Equal to a portion of that armor. Um, nice. Okay. Right. Let's stay out the way of all of these guys. And then we'll smoke bomb again to get out of there. Okay, we're back pretty much to full health now. We do need to worry a little bit, like I said, with the Deluvium and stuff. Uh, makes things pretty difficult. Nice. We're getting Luna Coins out the wazoo. Of course, we haven't actually found a Luna Pod yet. So we're unlikely to get a Luna Portal. In fact... I think we're guaranteed to not get one. That stun one coming out of uh, coming in and out of smoke is really nice. Oh, we we did get a blue portal. Surprising. Let's take that. We do have a little bit of money and the reworked bazaar, which is going to allow us to spend a little bit of that money, but it's not a ton, so we'll have to see. I do have a glass of water with me here. Like I said, my throat's a little sore, so I do apologise if you hear me. The slurping and glurping on that from now time to time. Right, let's have a little look and see what we got in here. So, in terms of actual void items, there's a few here I don't know. Uh, lunar items, sorry. We do have Afterburner, which would give us additional smoke bombs, I think? We've also got some bands and a modded item here I don't recognise. So let's take one of them and see what it does. Enemies drop extra gold. Let's, okay, let's take a few of those then. So we only, only take two. We can take one band. I think that means we can take one white as well, right? Nope, that's it. That's that. That's a lot. Um, we got the scorpion tail here, which would take. We only have. Oh no, we so we have one, two. Do you know what? I'm willing to. I'm willing to do this. We lost uh, everything but one of our smart shoppers. Permanent reduce armor on hits. Very good. We can uh, pop this to get some extra money as well, but we don't need to do that right now. I'm going to buy this and just see what it does. Makes the current health percentage of all your allies near you equal to yours. 
I don't think that's very good for us. I'll also test out this one as well, because I don't recognise this either. Double your health for half your speed. Hell no. <laughs> right, let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's been pretty interesting. Got some good stuff from there. Yeah, it's, it might be, it might, people might say it's a little overpowered to be able to buy items like you can with the money from the last stage. But with this setup with the uh, the lunar money being a little less common, it's not quite as uh, overpowered. And I am playing on Monsoon Diluvium, so it's not as if I'm not earning my keep. That's my gunner turret there. We could trade lunar items into this if we get any. So we can see this stacking reduced armor thing here. Which apparently can actually stack into the negatives. And that means the enemies take more damage. Because the armor is basically a damage reduction. But if you drop them below, like into the negative levels of armor, they start taking even more damage past their base level of damage, which is really good. Alright, so let's open this up first. It's also just a debuff as well, which is nice to have. Roller pennies. Okay, so now with roller pennies and the um the little satchel thing we got is gonna mean enemies drop more. We're gonna be gaining quite a lot of money per stage pretty quickly, especially if we can get an enemy to set us on fire real quick. F uh, getting set on fire is like the quickest way to massively boost your amount of money. Um Oh, we have a, a, a big chest over here. Let's go grab that. Would like to get a lunar item if we can. I believe with this setup, lunar pods are free within levels. They don't cost lunar coins anymore. Will of the Wisp is nice. Okay, that guy's pretty well distracted by that. Nice. Okay, I guess we've got some good stuff over here. Oh, I tried. To use the extra momentum from the uh, the smoke bomb there to jump up did not work the way I planned it to at all. Okay, we've got donut. Donut's pretty bad when we open, so if we get a health pod, whatever. There we go. Got them. Doing pretty good so far. Things are pretty slow going, but doing decently. Another chest over here. Got quite a lot of chests in this area. Keep forgetting how short range that um, that attack is. The swipe. Got you. This guy's the elite. Okay. Got him. Okay, magic bullets are still helping. Rather nice. Thank you, Smirk Bomb. Tiny bit of an extra jump, but it is good. Another Will of the Wisp is very nice. By the way, I'm absolutely loving the donut for the visual on our heads. These guys do a lot of damage, so be careful. But at the same time, they are garnering us quite a lot of money, so I don't mind all that much. Getting another um, energy drink would be really nice. Is that, energy? Is that what they're called? Uh, for a bit of extra speed boost. In fact, let's just quickly go this way and uh, check the other side. I've not checked that yet. Insta-kill on that guy. Will of the Wisp insta-killed the guy next to him. Ooh, another void item. I'm interested to know that there's modded void items now. I hadn't experienced any of those prior to this video, so pretty cool to see. Okay, so this one is actually really good for us. Um, gain 0.5% chance, but it's going to uh, corrupt all lens makers. But that's actually fine by us because... We deal crits by hitting enemies in the back no matter what. Oh, you see that smoke bomb there? Oh, the cool little smoke bomb jump I did. So unfortunately, not particularly looking great for uh, any extra items over this way. But yeah, every now and again when we hit an enemy, it's going to be a 1% chance for it to instantly die. The more lens makers we get, the higher that number's going to climb. So we will look for those if we can in like uh, shops and stuff. Okay, so we got last. Our last sort of check is up there, which I did see a few bits and bobs, not all that much. There you go. <laughs> Took a little while to make that, but we did it. Yeah, I can't. Even though I, I'm realizing our difficulty is climbing quickly, 
uh, we're already in hard and taking extra time on a stage probably isn't the best idea. I do want to try and uh, eke out every little advantage we can from an area, especially when there's an active item about. We don't have one of those yet, so it's very nice to have. This is randomly freezes enemies for eight seconds. Okay, I quite like that. That's good. That's quite good indeed. We do have our band lined up for an attack, so... Ice bands will trigger at some point here. There you go. Tri-tip dagger's nice. Bit of meat's decent enough as well. Our health isn't exactly super high. Any more for any more. Not looking like we have any more anywhere that I can see. Right, let's go. So to get the extra jump with the smoke bomb so we can utilize that. Now try tip. So basically if we can get like some Krona Bobble slow and something else, death mark is certainly a possibility. I don't know if we can make this. Can we make this? No, we can't, unfortunately. Don't quite have the gravitas to make that. Let's go this way. We could go and try and find our Luna Shop. But I'm not sure where the spawn locations for the Luna Shop uh, thing actually are on the stage. I know one of them, and I don't think it's there. It's like underneath the bridge we just went past. We'll take a brief little look there, but I don't think it's there. It's Ah, no, it's not. It's normally like right there. Well, I think, I think it's actually there, but yeah, either way, it's not there. Good, and then we're ready to do the boss. Ah, I did see a chest over here. Almost missed out on this, and we got ourselves Retaliate on heavy damage. Decent enough. So we'll pop our active here. As you can see, Quality Life Mod makes the turrets teleport straight to us, which is really nice. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Holy hell. I think I got, yeah, I was going to say, I think I got a big guy behind me. I got you. That's going to give us... Ooh, this is really, really good. Because we have... Um, oh, wait, no. We have Will of the Wisp. Damn. Oh, shit. 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 That was close. Um, I thought we had uh, gasoline, but we don't. We have Will of the Wisp, so it's not quite the same. Holy hell. It's those guys that got me. Holy fuck. Yeah, it was that dude, I think. He did quite the hefty number on me. There's a few of them about, actually. Look at the damage they're doing to me. Holy hell. My turret's uh, been disabled. Let's uh, revive that again. What the fuck? I think it was this dude. Yeah, it was. Blind Pest got me. Let's give that another go. Um, should we try the same character or should we, should we try someone else? Um... Let's let's do an acrid run. Let's try and do some that's something with acrid. Acrid's kind of fun. I like acrid, but as you can see, our uh, lunar coins have now reset. What up, fella? There you go. L lunar coins straight off the bat. There. I've already got a few chests here. And chance to push enemies away on taking damage. That's, that's actually pretty good, especially for this guy. Could be a little annoying, depending on um, how high that chance is. Because obviously we don't want enemies constantly being pushed about everywhere. But it could be useful. Uh, and this critical strikes mark enemies. Nice. Hey, sir. Take the L, please. But yes, as you can see with this difficulty, you can die pretty quick. You gotta be careful. You win some, you lose some. Um, ooh, Frenzy is pretty interesting. I kind of like that. Nice. Spread the poison about. There you go. Get a few smacks on this dude. And we've got one chest over here. I love his jump. His jump's so satisfying. 
We'll quickly do a bit of a check around for uh, a few more. I think, honestly, yeah, I was about to say, I definitely was thinking of trading this and for a focus crystal, 100% worth. Honestly, yep, yeah, I don't care what it is, another focus crystal. Gonna be really good for us. More melee damage is insane as this character. And we'll, we'll check above just in case there's something going on over there, but I don't think there'll be much. You two can get weakened, we can come back to you. Enemies do heal on Diluvium, so it's not as if we can just poison them and run away and they'll still be at 1 HP when we return. We do have to be a little worried about that. It's not like a crazy amount of healing. Uh, I think it's like two a second. So I think smaller mobs like these guys are going to heal pretty quickly. But for bosses, it's not insane. But we do have to sort of pay attention to that. Because it is a pretty big buff to the enemies, the fact that they can heal. Okay, so there's actually a lot of stuff up here. We'll have to stay put for a little bit here. Uh, these do disable healing, but I will pop it just to speed up the process a little bit here. Infusion's nice here too. Infusion's gonna give us an extra, extra maximum HP. Ooh, we are taking some hot damage here. Be careful. I think we will trade everything for Focus Crystal, if I'm gonna be honest. Early on, it's gonna be super useful. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll take this. Chance to shoot extra unpredictable projectiles. I don't even know what that means. Like, would that mean my R attack will sometimes fire extra? I do not know. I don't know what counts as the things that would fire projectiles in this sort of scenario. Okay, so there was another equipment here. Oh shit, I missed completely there. These little enemies are being a right nuisance. Let's just check out what this is. Ooh, okay. So I actually think we grab this. Give this to our equipment drone. And then we grab this. And that works out. Okay. I'm sure trade everything for all of these. Focus crystals are going to be ace. But yeah, now we get an extra bit of healing from our uh, wood spirit. But yeah, when we're close up, we're now going to get like a bonus, I think, 120% damage. And we've entered a frenzy there as well. Yeah, as you can see, that was so worthwhile for us. We unfortunately got beetle guard, which I'm not all that infused about. But it is what it is. Anyways, just keep going with this. We should be able to take out basic enemies really easy because our melee swipe's going to do a lot. If we can get like a, a crowbar on top of this. Yay. Yeah. That'll swap between all of these guys. I love that. So good. Oh my god, the frenzy whenever that starts. The frenzy is strong with this one. And there you go, I'll finish off those guys. And a crit as well, beautiful. Oh, my engine, my uh, equipment drone. Bobbling around like a mad lad. Yeah, as you can see, look at the damage we do on these dudes. Holy hell. That is nice. Obviously, we're having a little bit of trouble with the ranged enemies, so hopefully we can get something to deal with those a little easier. And some backup magazines will help. Oh, I missed the portal. I'm stupid. I don't know if I can switch. I don't think I can. I clicked the regular portal. I think it's going to take me to the next stage. I didn't even see it. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. What I get for being impatient. We do have a Lunar Pod there as well. Shame. Get ourselves some earning gold over time. Decent. I don't think you get a lot from those. I think it's a very minuscule amount. But it's one of those ones where, like... On its own, it ain't really much, but when it starts stacking, it starts to become really potent. Nice. 
nice. Oh, 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 I love the frenzy. Killing an elite spreads its elemental effect. That's a very interesting uh, item. Got quite a lot of chests about here, so I'm just kind of good to just sit here and uh, chill out. I don't know how often our equipment drone is going to end up procking, but it seems to be relatively often. Oh, did you see that trick shot? Oh, beautiful. All right, chest. Grabby, grabby. Oh, Merc is really good as well. Attack speed. And on top of that, a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, movement speed too. Both things for this character are very, very good. I mean, both things for pretty much every character are very, very good. But specifically this character, we're going to get a little more out of that. Then a squirrel manuscript is going to give us just a random stat bonus, which isn't particularly good. But it can, like, give you um, base damage, attack speed, all that sort of stuff. So, could be decent. There's another chest. Yeet. The more movement speed we get as well, the more we're going to be able to jump around with that ability. Uh, drop spikes when hit, slowing enemies. Okay, do you know what? We've got some very sort of synergistic stuff for close range melee attacks right now. I like it. Another chest. Is that a big chest? No, it's just regular. Calm down, you. Luna coin there, nice. Okay. Hey, there you go. As I said, with the stacking on those, we got yet another piggy bank there. I think it's like once you get up to like five, it starts to be pretty insane. I mean, that's pretty much the same with any stacked item. Once it gets up to like five, it starts to get really good. But obviously, it's kind of a catalyst, that one, for other items more so than anything else. Attack speed here. Let's take that. Yay. You can take the L with the spreading corruption. We got another chest over here. I think we don't quite have enough for it yet, yeah. Oh, we do have another active item here. Oh, a rusted key as well. Quite a lot of items here too. Let's just take this guy out with melee. We've got the ability to. And yeah, that should do a good amount of spreading corruption there. The spreading poison. I love that jump. God damn it, it's just the, the range you get on it, like the amount of distance you can get. So good. Okay, nice. So now let's grab that real quick. That's going to be chocolate. Uh, debuffs last longer. That's not going to be super useful for us, obviously, right now. But later on, that can provide quite a bit of benefit. The attack speed on that is so good. Another focus crystal. Oh my god. I think there's a teddy bear in there. It's probably a good defensive item to grab for us. Okay, unfortunately we don't have a roll of pennies anymore. Roll of pennies is really the, the proper catalyst to starting off a floor. Uh, so yeah, I'll take the teddy bear. Teddy bear's really good off the bat. It's like a 10% chance to block. That is half from Deluvium, but it's still really good. You're going down, fella. And then I think there's a few more chests about for us to grab. Although I've not seen too many other ones, I'll be honest. I'm just guessing. Check in here real quick. Nah, it looks like we're ready to go for the teleporter here. We should be fine though. We've got plenty of damage to output here. And there's a healing drone here, but looks I'll take that. Wow. Yeah, the damage is pretty good. We are, um, safe to say, kind of wrecking. Ooh, and we got the kernel. This is a boss item I definitely do not mind grabbing. The extra regen on um, when you've got lowered regen from playing on Monsoon is real nice. 
So maybe we'll look for our blue orb thing. I think that's it there. I do have a mod on so that um, you can activate things outside of the teleporter event. So we can go and grab it still, even now. Damn it, did I get it? I don't know if I got it there. I'm gonna guess no. Oh my god, that's kind of difficult. Do you, can you climb up this way? I never remember how to get up here. Okay, no, you can you can get up somewhat this way. Okay, I think it's been activated. I don't actually know. Woo! Back to the teleporter event. God damn, acrid's so fun. Big old acid dog. Just sit up here and poison everything. God damn, careful of these guys. These guys will wreck us real fast if they hit us, but I've got to kind of get in there. And just try and kill them. It seems a little unsafe, I'll be honest. I think we're about done with the teleporter event now, aren't we? Yeah, 90%. Yeah, it definitely seems a little unsafe, but it's 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 working reasonably well. And away we go. So unfortunately that didn't work. You must have to activate it prior to starting the teleporter event. It's been a little while since I played. Forgive me. Ooh, I love this area. And we do indeed have a void pool as well, which is always a little interesting. Because we have propane, we definitely want to take that. Oh, that was last run as well. Ah, I'm getting lost. Lost in the sauce. did manage to hit that guy somehow. I see you there, bud. I see you. And we got six void monsters left still. So well, that's one of you. A few more of you down here by the looks of things. Oh. And there's another one of you. Okay, one monster left, and it looks like he's over this way. There he is. Got him. Okay, Void Seed has been cleared. Right, let's quickly do this. Drop some dice. And we get, yes, just one tougher times. Means that we get safe spaces, and I like safe spaces. As you can see, that is one of the reasons I like safe spaces. Ooh, we just got Shrimpy as well. Shrimpy's pretty fun. Things are getting a little wild right now, so let's be careful. I'm just waiting for um, safe spaces to reactivate. And then we can go and grab that for free. There's another safe spaces. Gotta say I quite like that. Whip. Just a bit of a miss there. A bit of a whiff. Okay, you're still dead. Okay, I think we've cleared out pretty much everything around here now. We can actually make our way around the rest of the stage, finally. We got some good stuff going on now though. We got a safe spaces with three stacks. We got a little shrampy, which is gonna fire missiles. 
I don't, I don't exactly know how it fires them, I'll be honest, because normally I, I haven't had it with a melee character. So I don't know how good it is with a melee character, but I'm assuming it's still good. Uh, extra regen here is nice. chests over here. Our money has skyrocketed here. More health as well. God damn, there's a train of those guys. Even more HP here. Jump all the way over. Last few items, we've even got another, another void thing. Movement speed here, most definitely. This one's just going to be an encrusted key. Quickly check the underground out. I'm getting a little more lag than usual today. Not quite sure what that's about. Maybe it's one of the mods I've recently installed. We'll have to have a little check on my list. Bow tie here. Okay, we do have a blue portal this time, so let's not forget about that. Probably gonna take some hot damage here. I'm just gonna try and tank it. It's probably a bad idea. That actually worked out fantastically, somehow. We got ourselves, yes! Crit's heal. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the, the lag that we're getting right now, but it is pretty substantial, on the teleporter at least. I think it's just because of all these fuckers and then all the, all the DOTs that are going on. There's a lot of DOTs. Hello. These guys seem rather interested in me. And no thanks on you. I'm trying to stay away from all these fuckers down here. Which honestly isn't so easy. That should spread between a lot of them. It did indeed. 90%. Okay. We're doing a lot of stunning. Stunning's good. And there you go. Through the blue portal, we have a lot of money to spend here, which means pretty much a guaranteed legendary. I think. Yeet. Right, what we got available to us here? Oh, we got Scorpion again. Hello. We'll take the Scorpion. Most definitely. And I think we'll take a few crowbars. Nice. Brainstalks may be interesting. We've also got that purse again. I think we're pretty good with what we've got going on right now, though. Let's, uh... Let's get moving. That was pretty successful for us. I know I didn't check the Lunar items out, but I think... We don't need, like, Gesture of the Drowned or anything like that. And there's not many other Lunar items that I can think of that are, like really my style right now. There might be some that like really go well with this character, but not off the top of my head. Another Void Cradle over there. Oh, another Scythe, nice. Remember we're looking for an encrusted like Void Key thing on this stage. Oh, we got Weeping Fungus, Wungus. While we're sprinting, we're gonna gain a healing. Very, very useful for us. Good, good. A in the band as well. I love doing that. Like striking an enemy out of the sky, it's so funny. We've got a big chest here. And this all seems to be hitting. I'm not sure what's proccing them, but 
seems to be working for us. Oh, hello. I was like, what the hell's that noise? Oh, it's just a simple clear doom stride and they're just chilling. You're gonna do your thing, but do I actually care? The big answer, the true answer, is completely and utterly no. Ooh, shurikens is another good one for us as well. It gives us a bit of uh, extra range. Did not mean to fall there, but we're down here now. We are most certainly down here now. Okay. Check the legendary spot anyways while we're on our way this way. Nope. I don't know where the other legendary spots are on this map. I only know that one. But Let me know if you guys know them. Ooh. Another ATG missile launcher into a shrimp. That's really good for us. More of those we can get stacked up for better. You've apparently you've got to look for like a certain like sp sporadic patch of mushrooms. But I never know like where to really look for that. Oh, there's another clear dune strider about. What are you doing here, dude? Did I invite you? No. He just buckarooed me off of his back. I don't think so, son. There you go. This is a good amount of money, that. Uh, it was a green. Don't know what it is. Ah, oh, it's metronome. Metronome's good, but I have no idea how to use it. It's like a rhythm game thing with your skills. Can't for the life of me figure out how it's done. We've got a gup up there. Is that, oh, that's a, that's a shrine of the, uh, of the whatever it's called, the, the, the extra boss shrine. Extra boss, extra item shrine is, is fun. Wait, oh. Try the mountain, that's the one. I don't remember the name of it for a while there. Oh, there it is. We found our, uh, our void key thingy. I'll take poly loot. Poly loot's quite good single target damage. The character kind of excels at that already, so. <laughs> nah, I was, I was trying it. I didn't think it would work. I can actually get up there, though, but not via those means. Is that the mushrooms over there? I think that is, isn't it? Those, those pink mushrooms. Is that the ones? Don't know how much it costs, but we'll, we'll have a little look-see. That, that, I think this is the mushrooms, isn't it? This is the ones. It is, it is. Four grand, bro. Holy damn. It's a lot. At least we know where it is now. I don't know if we're able to get four grand. I will try. Not all that likely though. Although these these gup enemies do tend to give you quite a lot. And there's a full one over there. Completely missed him. Yeah, you might be me later, but so am I, brother. So am I. Yeah, honestly, four grand's more than achievable looking at this. We're doing great damage. Yeah, there you go. We got it already. I think that's enough. It might be like 4,800 or something. You watch, it will be. Now that I'm making my way back over here, it will be. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Three legendary. Well, I won't say three, but... Re kills reduce equipment cooldown. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh... Does anyone remember? Uh, portal was over this way, wasn't it? I remember now. 
There's a chest in here. And it's a goat hoof as well, hell yeah. I think it was just over this edge here, wasn't it? Schlem. There we go. We got it, we got it. It is a mountain, so... We are going to deal with some annoying enemies. And of course, it did give us a boss that's particularly annoying for this character in general. But, this character does have one advantage, kind of. Now, this isn't overloading as well, I didn't realise. Um, we can get on top of the, of the the dudes and potentially get some extra damage that way. It's not always reliable, but as you can tell, it was rel reliable enough this time. And we get ourselves some spare parts. That's actually pretty good for us. Okay, there's a weird box status effect that we're applying to enemies now. I'm not quite sure what's causing that, but we have it. One moment. Take a moment to take a little drink. I think we can just kind of chill for now then. Oh, hello. So you decided to join the party, did you? Cheeky bugger. Okay, we're entering, we're entering the stage of the game now where the game will actively try to kill us at any given opportunity. Now we're in ha 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 difficulty. Basically just means that like things can one shot us potentially every, at every angle now. We've got another blue portal which with six grand is a guaranteed legendary or two. Just a little bit powerful. <laughs> this, this bizarre thing is definitely quite overpowered but I'm enjoying it. It's, it's fun. we got here then we got extra critical damage or is that further healing let's just do one of them and i guess we'll go with uh oh we can't afford it go with two of them i guess strange creature there we go whoa Hit the ground just before I teleported away. Not that it matters, but still. Okay, so we've got a grandparent there. We should go and try and take that out straight away. And it's dead. <laughs> oh, we got a control unit as well uh, that is doing just a ridiculous amount of damage to us. I'm having a really hard time latching onto this fool. Oh, that's because you can. Why can you not let that land on that guy? The hell? Makes him so hard to kill his melee characters. The hell? How am I meant to kill this dude? I've not fought this uh this boss as acrid before. I don't know why I keep jumping off the map, I do apologize. Well, let's, let's just ignore him for now, because he's not a required kill. But that is particularly frustrating. We've got another void thing over here. Let's check that out. Oh, that's the... Uh, the Villainous Visage, a modded one. We're going to gain... Um, dam like a big damage boost after being outside of combat for a certain amount of time. It's decent. It's kind of a weird void item, because it doesn't corrupt anything. It's one of the modded ones. Modded ones are a little strange right now. Shrine of the Mountain. Hello. I think this stage we kind of just want to get the hell out of as soon as possible. We don't want to stick around too long. That's what I was looking for. We will take Volatile Flame. That's pretty good. Do we see the teleporter anywhere? Yeah, I, I see it, I see it, I see it. Away we go. I don't care too much about ma uh, maximizing the amount of crates we get on this stage. 
There is one over there, though. I might as well grab that one. And I did see a Void Cradle up here as well. We'll grab that real quick. The, the fucking Soul Unit thing's gonna keep doing its thing. Oh, we got another, um, another Visage. Cool, let's activate this straight away. Yeah, I want to be away from the uh, thing. We've got a grandparent here. Got a lot of grandparents. This could be the end of us. These are pretty difficult bosses. Especially when there's this many of them. But we are killing them very, very quickly. Is at least very true. There you go, we actually got him. Nice. Our healing is pretty good right now. Receive flat healing when attacked. What does that even mean? So does that mean like when we take damage, we get a portion of the damage taken back? Oh, we might die here, yeah. Holy hell, as I said, no one shot protection. Kind of easy to die by brass contraptions, things like that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very fun episode nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.